stands at the midpoint of the earth, pierced by a ray of sunlight. Suddenly it's evening. In 1974, on a climbing visit to the USA, to California, Yosemite Valley, I met an American woman, tore up my return ticket back home to England, and came to log in Forks illegally. I never re we spent three months there, and I have never returned until this weekend, this Memorial Weekend. And this is the first time I've seen Seattle in 35 years. Let's see what we're up against. The 21st century. Then the flowers, like children emerging for the first time ever at their own back door. Innocent, a sea of faces, blurred sounds and colors brushed by the sun's warm rays. It is all they can do to open their mouths. Torsos of felled eucalyptus, palisades of agave, insects strewn in dew ponds, mown down green millions, snippers, cutters, shovels, machetes, barbed wire fences, trenches, bulldozers, chemicals, and that stench. Welcome to the garden. There is an immense loneliness in our solitude. This particular poem is called The Experiment and perhaps approximates to the experiment being performed upon the earth by so many with the power to tear and rend. The Experiment. He laid down poems like roads, but there was no mass transport. He built an airport out of verse. Everything was grounded. And besides, the fares were out of the question. Space was the answer. As I stepped down, he later wrote, for he could have sworn the moon boomed. It couldn't be hollow. A month later, getting desperate, for there was nothing to do but write, he reached down for a rock to throw at the earth so that people would know he was up there. It crumpled in his grip. A snowman in his white astronaut suit, surrounded by crumpled balls of paper. Was everything made of paper? Everything, except the Earth. He was gazing at the clouds of breath. They began to clear, unveiling an oceanic tear of water which parted like a mouth, showing the glowing heart beating. The plastic suit softened. He started to move. Before he reached the dark side, he looked back. The blood drop of the sun was trembling, feeling something warm leave. Looking down, he was turning to bone. Then just dust, white sand, a breath of air, and he would be gone. Only his head remains, and out of nowhere, two fledgling ears, satellites that began shuttling back and forth like butterflies after his neck was dismantled. Once a month, he turns to gape at the earth. So all the species are endangered, and here's one that happened to come into my small circle of sight a couple of years ago when I was painting a fence, a wooden fence. It's called Endangered Species. Late in the year, painting the fence, gliding, a brilliance, falling, leaf, dividing, in two trembling wings, landed. Carried on a zephyr, plump in the thorax, Tongue reeling in nectar from the open-mouthed flowers, the monarch returned. 
ermine furred with blood red trim, opening and closing and opening its wings, applauding the sun, not fueling for takeoff as some would have it, like us for life on some other planet. The last thing I noticed, it had closed its wings like hands in prayer, keeping vigil in the fall garden. It might save us. You're very kind and I can feel your warmth and interest opening. I wanted to tell you a little bit about the fact as to why I keep trembling. Obviously I'm very, very pleased to see you but that's not the whole reason. I was for a number of years reserve lead guitarist for Lindsay Buckingham in Fleetwood Mac. Not. I had a bird in my hand which took flight in my arm. Let's see. I shook the hand of a ghost last night but held on too long. I know. I just got back from a job interview at Mount St. Helens <laughs> for being a seismograph. It was shocking. All right, I promise to tell you the truth. Is this my body to this upstart flutter? Like a bird in my hand trying to fly, is this trembling thing my fledgling swan song? Am I actually waving goodbye? Parkinson's, the real thing, spreading its wings in my brain for 16 years. A speck in the sky, a distant refrain, almost convinced I'd outsoared pain, I was wrong. No use lying, head down, fumbling shoelaces, buttons, trying and trying envelope stuffing, typing a letter, I'm tapping the dead, my fingers mutter. However, though shaky, I admit, as if I and the ghost of an ex re-met, got hot, had sex, I'm not cold yet. Hold me. I was a rocker. Keeping goal, I flew like a bird, stopping the shot or not, and could twirl on a dime, avoiding a tackle. I was hot at soccer and saving the world one girl at a time. Once I climbed like a snail up El Capitan. Ten days alone, manning my ropes, 3,000 feet tall, it's sail of stone, so I still have hopes there's a chance I won't fall out of the sky when I finally fly. Like an owl in the dark among zigzagging bats, catching insects, mice and rats, fighting for a life in the talon's grasp, perhaps taking flight, my imagination and I just might let go, settle down, play drums, raise funds, throw parties and darts at the local, take the stairs, take care, slowing, slowing, gone beyond the stars inside the atom, below the threshold of what we thought we were, going deeper and deeper into the above abyss inside the poem stirs the kiss of death. Feel the hereafter birth, love, the universe blossom, the infinite shore breaking in your heart, beating the falls like a salmon naturally. As plankton hang, dancing in this one vast tear when first light set forth the radiant idea of life in the grave, green waves suckling every day, then lets it happen, sit back, relax. Everything is trembling, the shell is starting to crack, the bell is tolling, then Caress the word, God's subtle egg, if you will. The worst and best are still to come. This is just a test.
of the public address system. Thank you for making me feel so at home. Um, can I just leave you with the last poem? The, the last but one. Telepathy. Thank you.